Today's video is to show you how to open up a Newtone IM or IMA 3303 master station, disconnect the wires that attach it to the terminal board, and remove the set from where it's installed so you can send it to me for a repair. You'll need three things to do this task. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver, some masking tape, and a marker. And that's all you need. The first step is to open up the master station. There are two screws that go through the face plate. Take out the left one. And the right one. And the master station will slide forward, especially if you get the screws loosened all the way. And it will fold down. The bottom of the master station is held onto the wall housing by two hinges. The, face, the master station will be supported by this support strap. At the far end inside the wall, there's a hook. So if you tilt it up just a little bit and wiggle it out of its hole, the master station will fold down further, which makes it easier to get to all the connections on the back of the unit. Let's take a second before we start disconnecting thing and do a brief overview of what you're going to be disconnecting. In the upper right hand corner is the antenna connection. Inside the wall housing there are two low voltage transformers, one on the right and one on the left. In the back of the wall housing is the terminal board. The terminal board remains in the wall housing. It's not necessary to disconnect all of the wiring from it and send it with the intercom. There are four individual plug-in cables that will simply unplug from the terminal board. And finally, in this corner, is the chime module. This is the antenna connection. This is a flat twin lead antenna cable and it very simply unplugs from the two pins on the master station. The first transformer is mounted in the lower right hand corner of the master station. It'll have two wires connected to it. These are two individual wires that are bonded together. You follow them down, they attach to the screw terminals on the transformer. Take your Phillips screwdriver, loosen the screws holding the wires down, and unhook the wires from the screws. Before we disconnect the left hand transformer, which is down here at the, in the lower left hand corner of the wall housing, we're going to unplug these cables from the terminal board. This will make getting to the screws on the transformer easier. Each of these cables is a different width and has a different size connector on the end of it. The idea of this type of design is that it would be nearly impossible to plug these cables into the wrong uh, sockets on the terminal board. So we'll start in the lower right hand corner. We'll unplug the little two wire connector. We'll move up to the wider connector. Then the top one and then finally, on the left hand edge, there's a small one right in the center. We'll unplug that and simply move these out of the way. Now access to the transformer will be easier because there's less in the way. Disconnecting the second transformer, which is in the lower left hand corner of the wall housing, is exactly the same as the first one we disconnected. Using your Phillips screwdriver, simply loosen the screws and remove the wires. The transformer wires are easy to identify because they both come from these white connectors on the lower left hand corner of the main board and also on each one of them 
is this warning label warning low voltage only do not connect these leads to 110 power lines use newtone transformer 301t only so that's on both of these wires so if you'd like you can put a label on these and write transformer on it but i think the red tags are good enough the last thing to disconnect on your im3303 is the chime module the chime module is mounted in the upper left hand corner of the faceplate and normally it'll have a minimum of two wires connected to it. On the chime module there are four screw terminals. A large one nearest the top of the unit is the common terminal. The other three are rear, side, and front. Each of these connections will make the chime module ring with a different number of tones so that you'll know where the visitor is located. This is where your masking tape and your marker come in handy. Loosen the wire from the common terminal, take the wire off the screw terminal, and put a piece of tape on it. You can then use your marker and write on the tape something to identify where it goes. In this case, I'm going to write common. We'll do the same thing with the second wire. Again, putting the piece of tape. And in this case, I'm going to mark it as side. Now that you've disconnected the master station from anything that ties it into the wall housing, it's simply a matter of sliding it forward on its hinges, slightly to the left, and lifting it off. Now your IM3303 has been removed and you can package it up carefully and send it to me.